I saw that we have Dora and Nawa, so welcome. Um, sorry, I haven't checked any of this for a second. Um, so here's your starter challenge that really links closely with today's work. It'll get your brain warmed up for time intervals. So see if you can remember how many seconds are in a minute, how many minutes are in an hour, how many hours in a day, how many days are in a week, and how many months are in a year, because you might need that for today. You might not. We'll find out. It's just a really good warm up when you're talking about time intervals because you need to be able to convert between all of them. We've got Sam and George. Hello. Hi, Torin. Hello. Bella. Okay, so we seem to got quite a lot of responses here. So yeah, we need to keep this in mind for today. So 60 seconds, one minute, 60 minutes, one hour, 24 hours in one day seven days in a week and 12 months in a year so we need to keep those in our heads for today's lesson right time intervals but a slightly different one i was when i was planning this lesson i was looking up the whole you know um, jenny started her homework at three o'clock she worked on it for an hour and ten minutes what time did she finish and i was a bit like ah um, we've done it a few times in Mass Live. I know it can be tricky at times, but at the same time, if you've over practiced, and I just thought, is there something different? Is there something different out there that can help us add and subtract time without the word problems? Because I think sometimes doing it without the word problems, getting it done mathematically, could then go back and help the word problems. And as you can see, I found some ama an amazing resource to help us do that and it's about adding and subtracting time intervals but without the word problems um, and it can be something like so for example the first question it says three minutes and 25 seconds three minutes and 25 seconds uh, and it says add two minutes and 40 seconds and 40 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna put and in there as well, rather than add. If I put the two plus signs, that won't make sense. Now, you might think, well, when would you use this? You could use this, um, again, you might be doing uh, exercise, and you've got to do star jumps for three minutes and 25 seconds. Then you've got to go in running on the spot for two minutes and 40 seconds. So it's combining the amount of time that you do something with cooking. Uh, you might need to, I don't know, put this in the microwave for this amount of time, take it out and stir it for this amount of time. So we do use time intervals quite a lot. So to do a question like this, we've got both the minutes and seconds. So first of all, Going to and it doesn't actually matter which way you do this, okay? I could start by adding the minutes, okay? And that will give me five minutes at the moment. Because then when I add the seconds, 25 plus 40 is 65 seconds. Ooh. And as we've seen from the start challenge, that takes us over a minute because there's 60 seconds in a minute. How much does it take? Well, there's 60 seconds in one minute and it's 65, so there's five left over. So it's not five minutes, it's six minutes because of this and then five seconds remaining. You could have done it the other way around. You could have done this bit first, realised it was 65 seconds, put one minute and five, and then added the rest of the minutes on, it doesn't really matter. 
Okay, so this is the kind of thing that we're doing today. If I show you another example, two minutes and 50 seconds, I'm gonna put mins and 50. I'm gonna put S, S, S rather than writing seconds, plus seven mins and 25. So I'm combining these two. So I'll do it the other way around this time, just to show you. I'll combine the seconds first. So we've got 50 and 25. Now that makes 75. Okay, and again, we can't use it. We have to go, it has to go over into minutes. Okay, so if that's 60, which is a whole minute, that means we've got 15 left over. 60 makes the whole minute, 15 left over. So currently in the minutes, we've got two and seven, which make nine, but we've also got that extra minute left over. So seven, eight, nine. So it's 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And the seconds that are left, 15 seconds. So you can do it either way around, but this is the most important bit, the partitioning of what you can't just put you need to slot it in, okay, into its bigger amount if you've got anything remaining, okay? Right, so if you have the patron page, you can go on to the next one, okay? So it's five mins and 45 seconds. Add two mins, 35. Have a go at that. Have a go at that one. Well, well done, you guys, getting that last one. Oh, we've got some different answers for this one. Okay, so let's have a see. So I'm gonna combine the minutes first, because I think, I'm pretty sure they're always gonna run over. This, the type, this is part of the skill. Okay, so 45 plus 35 is 80. That's 45, 50, 60, 70, 80. That means I've got 60 and 20 minutes left over. So that's an hour, okay? So I'm sorry, that's, that's the minutes, not the hour. We're not at the hours yet. So we've got five minutes, six, seven, eight. So that's eight minutes and how many seconds? 20 seconds left over, so well done if you got that. Okay. Now with the next part, it's subtracting, but don't panic about it. Use the same, very similar methods. We've got 10 minutes, 10 seconds, take away three minutes, 40 seconds, okay? Now, the issue here, and we do have to start with the seconds for this one, we have to start with the lowest amount, because as you can see, if we focus on the seconds, we can't do 10 take away 40, okay? We could obviously take away one of the 10, okay? Which would make it 10 mins take away three mins 30 seconds, because we've cancelled each other out. We've got 10 seconds left to take away. We take it and that makes us leave with that. Okay. But now we don't have enough. So what we need to do is take one of these minutes. So we're going to steal one. And make it nine minutes. Okay. And then 
take the 30 seconds. So we've got our 60 seconds now. I've stolen it from here and put it up here. Okay, I've got it. The minute I've taken is here. Now I can take 30 seconds from that 60 and that actually still leaves me with 30. Okay, so now I'm doing, already got that, that's already in our answer. We're done there. And then nine take away three is six. So our answer is six minutes, 30 seconds. So to recap, the start this question was 10 minutes and 10 seconds, take away three minutes and 40 seconds. What I did was take this, so then it was rather than ten rather than it being on both sides, I did 10 seconds, 10 minutes, take away three minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so I made this 10 less by getting rid of it. I can't do, there's no seconds for me to take away from. So I take one of the minutes, okay, I make it one less, so it's nine. And that minute, I'm going to split by taking 30 seconds away from it. The one that we needed to take away. And that left me with 30 seconds. And then the nine, take away three, is six. Okay, so a bit of breaking up in this one. It is harder than adding. But as long as you can, what you, it's like regrouping in adding and subtracting. Okay, so nine minutes, five seconds. Take away four minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, have a go at that. Have a go at that, see what you think. Um, this is actually oh which jumper? I mean this jump this is this is a shirt. Okay, if this is the one you're talking about, and it's from Mark am I allowed to say this on Facebook Live? It's from MS, if you can interpret what that is. Um, but an outlet as well, so it's really cheap. But thanks for noticing. Hi Laura. <laughs> Hope you're having a nice time. <laughs> Right, okay, so from this one, we've only got five seconds to take from. So with nine minutes, take away four minutes, and we, because we take the five, we've got 25 seconds left. So we've cancelled that one out. Now, as we can see, we need to take away some seconds, but there aren't any seconds left. So we're going to make this one less. Okay, and put this up here. So we've taken a minute and put it into seconds. And 60, take away 25. It's 35. Okay, so that's in our answer. We don't want to put it on the next part because we're still not, to, we've got our seconds now. We don't want to put it on the next row. Don't put it here because it might make you keep going. And then eight take by four is four. So it's four mins for 35 seconds. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, well done, guys. Not sure I had the work right. No, no, no. This is this is this week's. If you're a patron, it's on the patron page. So this is the today's lesson for Tuesday. Right, the last one on there, I'll let you have a go at those of you who've got the worksheet. So that can be your little challenge. Again, if you want me to check, send the answers after the lesson. We're gonna go on to the next part, number two, hours and minutes, okay? So, four hours, I put hours as 
HRS, four hours and 30 mins, at two hours, 45 mins. Okay, and like before, when we're adding, it doesn't really matter which way around you do it. I'm gonna start with the lowest value, okay? So 30 mins plus 45, well that's 75. Mince. We've combined those together. How many minutes are in an hour? 60. So if we've got one at 60, that means there's 15 left over, okay? So then we add the hours. So four hours plus two hours is six, but remember to add the one that we've got an extra. So that's seven hours and 15, oop, seven hours, 15 minutes. So don't forget that one. You could, if you, if you wanted to, you could put it as a one underneath to help you remember that it's one hour rather than 60 hours if that got confusing. Okay. Right. I'm sure, guys, I can let you... Ooh, there's a good one on here. 12 hours, 50 mins. And 4 hours, 35 mins. And then there's 7 hours, 20 mins. And 135 mins minutes wow so there's no hours to add or is there or is there that's a good question being really I mean I know you're a lovely group but yeah don't worry if you're not quite sure this is quite tricky it's all good practice I've not done it before in Maasai That second one is def he's telling you straight away. There's definitely a lot of breaking up to do. some answers let's have a look <clears throat> so let's combine our minutes first so 50 60 70 80 85 so these are our total minutes Torin. 50 minutes and 35 minutes we're not allowed to leave it as 85 minutes we need to break that down into hours and minutes because our answer has to be hours and minutes now we know the 60 minutes in an hour so there's one lot of 60, so that's one hour, okay? And then, left over, we've got 25 minutes. That can go in our answer, because that's the only minutes we've got left now, okay? So then, again, we put it in our answer, 25 minutes, okay? And now we combine all the hours. So we've got 12 hours, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 hours and 25 minutes. Now for this one, a lot more adding splitting up. 
So we've got set, we've been given one set of hours, but a lot of minutes. So first of all, let's combine these together. So 135 plus 20, well that is 55. Okay, so I'm going to combine those two straight away. Seven hours plus 155 minutes, okay? Right, we know there's 60 minutes in an hour, so we need to count up in six, or sixes. So six, 12, 18, that's too far. Right, so 120 minutes is two hours. Okay. Or you, you could have done it in 60. Okay, so 120 minutes is two hours. And then what's left from 120 to get to 155? So 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we've got the five. So 35 minutes. So 155 minutes is actually two hours and 35 minutes. So now we can combine these two. So we've got seven hours and two hours, which makes nine hours. And then 35 minutes left. That's our answer, nine hours and 35 minutes. Okay. okay. So now we'll try the subtraction. Okay. Six hours, 10 minutes, Take away two hours, 50 minutes, okay? So, first of all, we've got 10, we, let's start with the minutes. 10 minutes take away 50 minutes, okay? We can't do that, so what I'm gonna do is make it six hours, take away two hours, and I'm gonna take the 10 from that 50. So I need to take away 50, there's still a 10 there, so we'll make that less, okay? I need to still take away 40 minutes from the six hours. Remember, we're starting with six hours and we need to take away two hours and 40 minutes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is make that one hour less, and I'm gonna take that hour and make it into 60 minutes, okay? So I've stolen an hour because now, I can do 60, take away my 40, which is 20, okay? So I've got my minutes and my answer, and now I can finish off the hours part of the question. And five take away two is three. So three hours, 20 minutes for that one. So, your turn. Three hours, 50 minutes, take away two hours, and 35 minutes. Give that a go. Oh, got some interesting answers. So again, start with the minutes, okay? We've got 35 minutes to take away. There's 15 there, so we'll start by taking that, okay? So three hours, 
take away two hours and then 35 take away 15 or 35 30 20. So we've cancelled those two out now. We've balanced it just to make it 20 minutes. Right, we can't take 20 minutes from the three hours. So we're going to make that two hours. Take away two hours, take away two hours. Okay, but that hour that we've taken to make it three to two, we've stolen that one hour and made it into 60 minutes. And now we can do 60, take away the 20 that we've got, which is 40. Okay, so 40 minutes. Is the minutes in our answer. But two take away two is zero. So there's no hours. Our answer is just 40 minutes. Okay, so that's quite a weird one, but it still worked for the pattern. Okay, and that's all okay. Good. Right, again, the last one on that part two. I'll let you guys with the words you have a go. Send me your answer when you think you've got it. And we're going to move on to the last part. You can see there's a lot of questions today and I won't be able to get through all of them. So have a go in your own time. Right. Now, we've got days, weeks, months and years. Okay. Um, I'll only have a go a couple of these. Let's start with the first one. Four years, so years and months. Four years and eight months add three years, nine months. Right. So again, start with the lowest amount. Nine plus eight is 17. So we've got 17 months when we add these two together. Okay. Now, remember, there's 12 months in a year. So 12 months is one year. So we've got a whole amount that we can transfer over. And then the remainder is five months. So that's going to be the main part of our answer. So then when we add us all together, we've got four years, five, six, seven, Eight, so it's eight years and five months. Eight years and five months. Okay. That you have a go at. I'm going to jump down to C. I'm going to jump down to C. I'll come back to number two. Three years and five months. Add 27 months. Give that a go. So I've jumped down to C. I will come back to B. Don't worry if you're getting some of them wrong, it shows that you're learning. If you get all of them right, you're not really learning anything. I mean, not, not that I'm saying you lot are getting them all right or learning anything, but it shows it's progression, okay? You can't get everything right all the time and it shows there's something to progress on, something you can go away and practice. Okay, I've got a couple of answers. So we start with this one by combining 
our months. And this makes 32 months. So we're now at three years and 32 months. Okay. But we need to split the 32 months into years and months. Okay. So it's 12 months in a year. So 1 12 is 12, 2 12 is 24. 3 12 is 36, so that's too far. So it's definitely going to be 2 years. So we've got to 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So there's 8 left over. So we've made that into this. And now we can add the 3 years plus two years plus eight months and that's five years eight months okay so that's how we combine them that way right and i said back to number two weeks and days five weeks and four days and six weeks, six days. Right. So let's add our days. Four and six is ten. We know there's seven days in a week. So that would make seven, which is one week. And three days left over. Okay. So we know, and then when we add the weeks, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 weeks and the 3 days that we had left over. So just, the, like I say, the same method but using different time intervals. Seconds, weeks, days, months, years, hours. Loads and loads and loads, okay? So I'm going to give you to go out seven weeks. Two days. Add 23 days. Have a look at that. Seven weeks and two days plus 23 days. See, I told you you get some right. for this one combine the days first so that's 25 we need to split it into weeks and days so seven days are in a week so 7 14 21 28 20 is too far so 21 days would be three weeks and then we have a remainder of four days then we add it up, we've got seven weeks, eight, nine, ten weeks, and how many days left over? Ten weeks and four days. Okay. 
Right. Last two. I know we haven't finished the sheet, but I'm afraid I'm running out of time. It's quite a long lesson, this one. So do some subtracting. Eight weeks and three days. Take away two weeks and five days. So this is question E. So, as ever, I'll model to you first. So, eight weeks. Now, we need to take away five days. There's three days currently there. So, we'll balance that out. So, we'll set that out. So, eight weeks, take away two weeks. And out of those two, there's two days left over. Okay. So eight weeks take away two weeks and two days. Now, again, we need to regroup this. We need to steal one from here and make it seven weeks take away two weeks. Because this up here is going to become, um, oh, my brain's gone uh, mush now. That's going to become seven days. So that week that we stole is going to become one week but a seven days. Because now, we can take away our two days. And seven take away two is five. Okay. Okay. So we started with this. We simplified it. So it was eight weeks take away two weeks and two days because we balanced the three and the five. We need to, we can't, there's no days to take away from. So instead, we made it a one week less, took that week, and made it into seven days, which isn't a week, and now we can take two from seven, which leaves five, okay? So that's gonna be our answer. Five days is gonna be in our answer, and then we complete the rest, and seven take away two is five. So five weeks and five days is the answer for that one. One more. I'm going to get you to do F. I'm going to jump right down to F. Six years, three months. Take away four years and eight months. Eek, just fits on. Last one, give that a go. Let's have a look. Six years. So we need to take away eight months. There's three months there, so we'll take away that. Okay, so we'll take away that. We're taking it from the eight, so it'd be four years. And then eight months, take away the three months, which is five months. Okay. Now, we've still got months to take away. We've only got years left. So we're going to make that one less and move that, that year up here. Yeah. Now we still need to take away four years after that. Now, because we've moved that year up here, we can now take away the five months from that. One year 
is 12 months. So we're doing 12 months, take away five months, so 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So that's going to leave us with seven months, and that's in our answer. As you'll, as you'll see, your answers are either uh, years and months, or weeks and days, okay? And then we complete the years part, five years take away one, uh, four years is one year. So your answer is one year and seven months. Let's have a look. Ah, well done. Yeah. Hope that's okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, remembering it's that that you've got to take with that. If you put five months, but that's what we've got to, we've still got, that's not what's left over. We've still got to subtract that. Because it says take away, we've still got to take away the five months. That's not what's left over. That can be an easy mistake to make. Okay, right. Thank you very much for today's lesson. I will be back tomorrow to do more time, but to do with interpreting timetables. We're going to be looking at a time, a train, that's a mouthful, a train timetable tomorrow and see if we can interpret different parts of it. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.